In addition to picking a president, Iowa voters will also consider changes to the state's constitution. WHO 13 Zach Fisher has more on the two constitutional questions that will be on the ballot. Iowa voters this election season, when they get a ballot, will have a decision to make between two statewide constitutional amendments. The bill having received a constitutional majority is declared to have passed the House. The first proposal is straightforward, looking to codify the state's constitution for the voting age to match federal law. 18. The state's constitution right now says you must be 21 to vote, which is outdated. But to understand the other amendment on the ballot, we must go back to 2017. That is the, the fundamental question. That is the constitutional question. Governor Branstad left the office to take the role of U.S. Ambassador to China. Reynolds stepped in as governor, but the constitution was vague on if she could appoint a lieutenant. Uh, that, that's why we've tried to clarify it in the Constitution, that if the lieutenant governor does step in, the lieutenant governor now serving as the governor would be able to appoint a lieutenant governor. 18 House Democrats voted against this passing in 2023, and some still do not want voters to say yes at the ballot box. My concern with this constitutional amendment is that in the case where the governor is able to appoint a new lieutenant governor, there is no restrictions on who that person can be. Now, if both of these amendments are passed by voters, it would be the 50th and 51st Amendment to the state constitution since it was adopted back in 1857. At the State House, Zach Fisher, WHO 13 News. The last time voters approved a constitutional amendment was back in 2022, which restricted infringement on gun ownership in the state of Iowa.